Welcome back. This episode is all about getting out and staying out of the industry. And now we're just going to take a couple of your questions. So ladies, um, some of the gals are asking, you know, they have a customer who would pay their bills for them if they left, if they left the industry. Would that be a good thing to do? You know, my personal opinion about it, like even in the industry, I would have men offer to buy me, you know, condos, cars, that kind of thing. I always felt like nothing is free, and so I was never comfortable taking anything from customers um, after the business because I just felt like it would keep me tied to them in a way that I didn't want to be. But that that was me personally. Um, I know Christy's situation is a little bit different too, but because yeah. of your website and that yeah, sort of I had thing. an online you know persona, so. Um, well, I didn't really accept pe um, help from like the fans. I had a, this Christian people, all these Christian people come into my life and, and donate money to help me out. Wow. So one of the ways that we did that, because I was uh, involved in that process with her to keep it safe, is rather than them, like, here, Chrissy, here's $500, meet me at a coffee shop. What would happen is they would say, I have a car for Chrissy, and they would donate it to Treasures or do make a donation to treasures that we would then allocate the funds in a way that just made it feel safer and it wasn't about, I'm gonna support you and then I want something from you, but they were giving to a ministry that was in turn using a, a designated fund. Yeah. So it's different, Yeah. it's a little different. Yeah. For me, when I left, I left and two months later bumped into one of my regular clients on the street and I looked dreadful and he was like, where have you been? You know, I've missed you. And that turned into, you know, I ended up telling him my real name. He started to pay the rent in my apartment. And that kept me off the streets and off people's lounge rooms for about, living rooms, for about six months. And then he left his wife thinking that we could get married. And I was just kind of like, yeah, no. He bought a business so that I could like be the manager in his cafe. Wow. And within a month, it was just like, dude, you're crazy. I'm not staying here. And I ran away from him. Wow. Yeah such a wild journey you ladies have been on. It's amazing. Who you are today, I just look and I think, you know, I'm familiar with your stories and who you are today is, is remarkable. That you could go on these journeys and bring this kind of strength even to the women who are asking these questions. It's powerful. And so we have another question from our viewers. Um, did you guys tell clients and fans that you weren't going to be in the business anymore? For me, no. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I'm just going to run away. And, and part of it was run away from the industry, but run away from me, run away from that character that I had been, run away from, you know, I wasn't Anna anymore, I was Bromwyn. Mm -hmm. And who is that and what does that look like? And bumping into, you know, ex-regular clients on the street was like horrifying for me because I was like, I know I look like death warmed up and I, I, you don't know who I really am. So they would mm -hmm. call out my, my work name and I wouldn't respond because I was like, that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. And then trying to, yeah, it was that whole game of trying to work out who am I? And so for me, it was, it was, it was very tricky. Yeah. I had, I had a lot of fans that were online. So um, early on, like right after I left, I wrote this blog on my, I, I started in MySpace right after I left and I wrote this blog. Before at, Facebook was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I started this blog and I wrote it out and I had no idea. I was so oblivious to how popular MySpace was. Yeah. So I put it out there and I, I just said, you know, um, why I left and that I'm no longer a part of that website and, um, and that, um, you know, like I, I was finishing and then apologizing to them for um, the things I took them away from. Because I was thinking from their perspective, like what are they feeling? What are they going to... You know, I wanted to express to them, you know, why I was leaving and that I was I'm very apologetic. And, um, yeah, that's... Apologetic, not about leaving, but like, because I know I've heard this part before. What were you apologizing for? Oh, I was apologizing for taking away from their, away from their families, dating, like all the things that um, the fan, the fans get so wrapped up in the fantasy. Mm -hmm. So I guess in a way I wanted to show that I was a real person with real feelings. And then also, um, you know, let them know that, you know, I understand why. I, I actually did have, feel, not, not like love feelings for my fans, but I always wanted to know what's going on in their minds. So sometimes when I answer emails, they would tell me that I'm married or whatever. So I just apologized for those type of things. Wow. Such character. 
Okay. Sorry for taking your hosting job just then. Oh, I wouldn't have even known to ask that, so it's actually okay. good that you did. Um, for me, you know, it, it's different in the different industries, but in stripping, like one of the things you try to do is build up a regular clientele so that you could just show up to work and then not have to worry about hustling when you're there. So I had built up a regular clientele for the most part. They had my pager, which dates me a little bit, but they had my sky pager. <laughs> so they had my sky pager. And, um, but anyways, I just cut that off and um, I didn't tell most of them, but there was one gentleman, um, a man, an elderly man who came in and um, he was really just mostly very lonely. And so I felt like I should tell him. So I, when I went to call him, I found out that he had been hospitalized. So I actually ended up visiting him in the hospital. Just kind of, I was like, I'm gonna pay him a last visit. and. Um, I was so newly Christian. I brought my big Bible and I was like, do you know Jesus? <laughs> it was so like, but I felt like I can't leave him here and not tell him why I'm leaving and this love that I've found. And so wow. I told him about it and actually ended up praying with him there in the hospital. And um, le I left and he died within that week. Wow. Yeah. I love that story. <laughs> Okay, ladies, that's actually all we have time for today, but to find some resources on things such as food stamps or substance abuse treatment programs and counseling, you can visit our website at www.iamatreasure.com. And you can also look to see if there is a Treasures Train outreach near you. Whoa.